now today is uh, day 4 and i would like to welcome you all in our science online classes uh, for class 2 uh, in our previous class we have learned about the food and feeding habits of animals and in uh, in our today class uh, we will read about the uh, movement of animals the topic of our today class is about the movement of animals movement of animals now uh, the topic is the movement of animals before that uh, do you know what do you mean by movement movement means the act of animals going from one place to another is called movement the act of animals that move from one place to another place it is known as movement almost all animals move from one place to another place every animals they used to move from one place to another place they cannot stay in only one place they used to move from one place to another place different types of animals have different types of limbs limbs means legs okay which are useful to them in many ways every animals have different types of limbs uh, which are useful uh, <clears throat> do them in many ways. Uh, they move here and there to get food and shelter. All the animals they used to move from one place to another place uh, for food and shelter. Many animals move with the help of legs. As we all know that every animals, every human beings they used to move with the help of their legs. Some animals move with the help of legs and wings. Some animals they also have wings and with the help of wings and legs they move from one place to another. Some animals swim in water with the help of fins. Some animals that uh, uh, who live inside the water they used to um, move with the help of fins. Every animal has different ways and reason to move. Every animal they have different different uh, reason or the way to move. They have their own reason to move from one place to another place. Some animals move in order to find food. Some animals they used to move here and there to find the food to survive themselves. To, to find the food or to find the shelter or the or for the water they used to move from one place to another place for to find the food shelter and water sometimes animals need to move in order to protect themselves from their enemies and sometimes to give water to young ones sometimes animals um, they used to uh, move from uh, one place to another to protect themselves to protect themselves from the enemies or sometimes uh, some animals uh, used to move uh, for to give the board to young ones to give the board to young ones they used to uh, find the safe place to give the birth now next one <coughs> many animals which live on land they have um, there are many animals that which live on the land they have four limbs and two four limbs and two hind limbs animals such as cow buffalo dog elephant horse rhinoceros uses their limbs to walk on the ground with the help of their limbs they use to walk on the ground animals who have strong limbs like the, those animals who have uh, strongest limbs like leopard, deer, etc. They have the strongest limbs which, uh, which help them to run very fast. Which, with the help of limbs they used to run very fast. Some animals such as rabbit and hares have strong hind limbs. They have hind limbs which helps them to hope with the, uh, with the help of Hind limbs they used to hop on the ground. And uh, human beings also uh, have legs. Human beings also have two legs. With the help of legs, they used to, we used to run, walk, jump, or um, 
uh, hope anything, any uh, kind of work with the help of our legs, we can uh, do these kinds of things. Okay, now you can see here the picture. A tiger is running with the help of his uh, its leg. Uh, it can run, and here an elephant. It is walking with the uh, with the help of it, uh, its four limb. It it is walking, and here the human being. It is swimming, and this one is frog. Frog. It is jumping on the ground with the help of four footed legs. It 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 is moving from one place to another. Now. Next one is some animals like worms, snakes, etc. crawl instead of walking from one place to another as they don't have legs while crocodile, lizard and turtle crawl on their four short legs. Now uh, you can see here some animals like uh, worm and uh, snake they, they do not have legs. So they used to crawl on the ground. Instead of walking, they used to crawl on the ground from one place to another place. They do not have legs, so they used to crawl on the ground. While crocodile, crocodile, lizard, uh, turtle, uh, they have uh, four-footed legs. You can see here they have four-footed, four-footed short legs that uh, they used to. They also used to crawl on the ground with the help of four footed legs they used to crawl on the ground next one likewise um, cockroach cockroach and ant they used to walk on their six legs cockroach and ant they have six legs with the help of six legs they used to walk and grasshopper and lotus hop on their strong hind legs. Grasshopper and lotus they have hind legs, hind legs. With the help of hind legs, uh, they used to walk or they used to uh, fly from one place to another. Okay, now. Animals which live in water swim. Some animals like frog, whale, dolphin, duck, etc. swim with the help of fins. Fishes have fins for swimming. While prawn and lobster they swim with the help of their legs. Some animals which live both on land and water have different ways of moving in water and on land. For example, the frog hops on the ground and swims with the help of its wet hind legs in the water. Frogs and dogs have uh, uh, wet feet for swimming. Animals uh, which live in water, they used to swim inside the water. Some animals like frog, whale, fro uh, dolphin, duck, etc. They used to swim with the help of fines. With the help of fines, they used to swim inside the water. Fishes have fines for swimming. With the help of fines, they used to swim inside the water. While prawn and lobster, they swim with the help of their legs. Prawn and lobster, they have legs to swim inside the water. Some animals, there are some animals that uh, they live both on land and inside the water. They have um, inside the water, which live both on land and water have. They have uh, different ways of moving in water and on land. For example, uh, frog. Frog is that kind of animal that uh, uh, it lives both on land and in inside the water. 
the frog hops on the ground they used to hops on the ground and swim with the help of its webbed hind legs in the water with the webbed hind legs they uh, they used to uh, live or they used to swim inside the water frogs and dogs frogs and dogs they have webbed their feet are webbed they have webbed feet which helps them to swim inside the water you can see here here are some pictures uh, some animals live inside the water that are fishes fishes swim in water with the help of fins they swim inside the water and next one is frogs frog it can live both on and on land as well as inside the water frog it has four footed legs and the dogs dogs swim in water you can see here okay likewise turtles have flippers or paddles by which they can swim in the water similarly penguin use their two short wings as flippers to swim <coughs> Ever seal also have flippers to swim under the water. You can see in the picture turtle. This is the turtle. It has flippers. It is known as flippers. Flippers or paddles. It is known as flippers or paddles which help them to swim inside the water. With the help of flippers or paddles, the, this uh, turtle they use to swim inside the water. Similarly, penguin. Penguin use their two short legs. Penguin has two short legs. Penguin has two short legs and um, uh, and uh, short legs as flippers. They used to uh, flip on the inside the water. Two short legs. They also have flippers with the help of these two short legs and flippers. They used to swim inside the water and seal. This is seals. Seals also have flippers. It is also have flippers uh, which helps them to swim inside under the water. With the help of these flippers, uh, seals also uh, swim under the water. Okay now. Some animals move from one place to another place by flying. Actually the way birds fly is very unique. Birds and insects use their wings to fly. Birds and insects also have legs for walking. Humans, dogs, cat and all, all have four lungs. The, the wings of birds are nothing but they have four limbs. These four limbs are very special because they are attached to the breast bone in bird and have feathers in all over them. Birds actually have very strong muscles. As it takes great deal of strength to flip wings and fly. Birds flap their wings and cut through the air and hence they are able to rise and fly. Behind limbs or legs which birds have all used for many other purposes such as when they land on the ground or hunting the prey etc. Right. Uh, some animals uh, they used to uh, move from one place to another place by flying. Uh, maximum uh, birds. Birds used to fly from one place to another place. Actually, the way the birds fly is very unique. The way the birds fly is very unique. The birds and insects. All the birds and insects, as we all know that all the birds and insects, they use their wings. With the help of wings, they used to fly from one place to another. Birds and insects also have legs for walking. All the birds and insects, they also with, uh, they have feather wings and also they have uh, legs as well with the help of legs they can they also walk 
humans human beings dogs can all have four limbs as we all know that all human beings birds dogs uh, can have four limbs the wings of birds are nothing but they have four limbs the uh, birds also have four limbs uh, these four limbs are special because they are attached with the breast bone in bird and feathers in all over them the birds actually have four uh, very strong muscles the muscles of birds they are very strong as it takes great deal of strength to flip the wings and fly with the help of when they uh, flap their wings they used to fly birds flap their wings and cut through the air and hence they are able to rise and fly behind limbs or legs which birds have uh, used for many purposes uh, with the help of their uh, limbs or legs they used to uh, they used to fly and um, in such way when they land on the ground they use their leg to land on the ground or for hunting they use to use their limbs or leg uh, while uh, they are landing on the ground or hunting their food or prey etc some birds some birds which don't have functional wings they cannot fly high example of these birds are emu or ostrich and penguin which are called flightless birds some animals having legs and wings for movement are given below there are some uh, animals uh, which uh, don't have some functional wings they uh, they cannot fly high those animals that cannot fly high these animals are emu mew uh, ostrich and penguin penguin they they have wings but they cannot fly high so th these uh, these birds are known as flightless bird these known these birds are known as flightless bird some animals having wings and uh, legs for movement are given below you can see here a peacock is flying it has wings and legs as well so it, it is flying and here is a butterfly it is flying and a dragonfly okay now um, this is much for today's class so uh, i hope you have gained some uh some lesson from our today's uh, today's class so here is homework for you students i have given you previous homework as well i hope you have done now this homework is for today's class okay now you can see here question number 1 define the trunk movement what do you understand the movement what is the meaning of movement the act of uh, moving from one place to another place it is known as movement and in number 2 name any three animals that move with the help of legs you have to write the names of three animals that move with the help of their legs in number 3 name any three animals that fly in air write down three animals that fly in air four number name any three animals that crawl on the ground write down three animals that used to crawl on the ground and number 5 name any three animals that swim in water write down three animals name of three animals that swim inside the water and last one six number why do animals move from one place to another place why why animals used to move from one place to another place you have to write the answer you know very well animals used to move from one place to another place for food shelter water or to protect themselves from enemies or to uh, give the bird to young ones
so uh, what did you have uh, understood you can write your own answer okay now this is the end of our today's class i hope you will uh, learn more at your home so uh, this must for today all of you stay home stay safe thank you